Hey guys, this is Brian Jenkins with Circuit Crush TV, and today I'm going to do something that I haven't really ever done before. I have here a nice little robot that I obtained, and I haven't opened it yet. And this is the Keybot Coding Education Robot for Arduino STEM. Science, Technology, Engineering, Math is what STEM stands for, in case you didn't know. But I am going to unbox this. And then later on, of course, put it together and build it. But I figured it would be kind of neat to do a video, an unboxing video. And I have never used or played with this item before, or any of their items for that matter. So I have no idea, you know, really what's inside the box or, uh, you know, how it goes together, or how it's all going to work. But I thought it would be fun to do a series of videos surrounding this. Because Key Studio here was generous enough to donate this uh, to me. So, I'm going to start by opening the box. And as we can see, I don't know if you could tell, there is still plastic wrap on here. So I haven't opened it yet. Let's start by cutting the plastic wrap off. I don't really have fingernails. So I'm going to use this box cutter here and remove the plastic. Okay, let's see what is inside the box. And again, here's the item here so to get a good look at it. And some stuff on the back of the box, a QR code. But um, let's open it up and see what we have. Okay, we have here a nice user manual which I assume probably tells you how to assemble it. And yeah, here's an assembly guide, a parts list. And again, we're going to be assembling this in later videos, but I just want to start with the unboxing. So it's a full color guide, nice big full color pictures. And this is great, um, especially for younger makers and tinkerers. So, okay. And it looks like it uses some kind of graphical programming language. We'll get into that later, too. But let's see what we have as far as parts go. Okay, it also comes with a CD, which I assume includes a PDF, some code. It says here, IDE, to install on your computer libraries and such. And here are the parts. Even comes with a little screwdriver, which is interesting. That's pretty neat. comes with a tool or tools. I'm not sure if there's more than one tool in here that you need to assemble it. So that that's cool. And I'm going to move this over so we have room. We got a USB cable. And I might not know what all these parts are off the top of my head, but okay. Battery holder. It's pretty obvious what that is. Here we have, um, looks like some Ethernet cables. Got some wheels. And this looks like this is some sort of caster. I'm not sure what. It's like a, a ball in this plastic frame here. I'm not sure what that's for. Could just be a weight to weigh it down. Here we have a board, and it looks like there's a couple small potentiometers. I assume that's what they are. And on the other side, some LEDs. These could be infrared. I'm not sure. And then here is a jack. Okay, here's another little piece, and I'm not quite sure off the top of my head what this does. But it looks like some little control board. And there's some writing on the back. Here we have some uh, ultrasonic sensors, like ping sensors. It's kind of obvious what that does. Here is a bag of hardware, various screws and bolts and things that you're going to need to put together. We have what looks like the main control board. There's all kinds of, of jacks and such and um, there is a speaker on it. There's a little push button switch here on the side. There's this switch and then a smaller switch here. There's where you plug in the USB. 
not much to look at on the other side of it, but I assume that's probably the main control board. Here's another piece, just looks like a piece of plexiglass or something where you peel off this paper and maybe stick it to the board or so you could fasten the board to the um, frame without it shorting out because obviously you don't want to short out your board. That's probably what that does. And here we have some more stuff and I'll remove the box. There's nothing else in the box to look at. We have the motors. Two of them. Another little board. This has an LED on it. It could be some kind of just board to let you know that the power is on and running again. Not sure. Haven't read the book. Another battery holder. And the main frame of the robot. So that's everything the kit contained. And, um,. The quality looks decent. I mean, this is pretty solid, you know, steel. It would take a lot of strength to, to bend this. As far as the motors go, I'm not sure what the specs on those are yet. But again, I'm going to go ahead and start assembling this, and we'll we'll take a check back once it is at least partially assembled, maybe fully assembled. I'm not sure yet. Doesn't look like it's terribly difficult to assemble, really. I don't think there's any soldering involved. So this is probably a quick project, probably great for, for younger, like I said, younger makers, tinkers, you know, ages 8, 9, 10, 12, you know, early teens. Uh, looks relatively simple. But I'm going to go ahead and get started assembling it here. And we will touch bases again once we get it assembled or maybe part of the way through, like I said, I'm not sure. It depends on how long it takes. If it's really easy, I'll probably just assemble the whole thing and then go over the assembly with you guys in the next video. Anyway, until then, subscribe to my channel. And um, I'm glad to have you guys here. Hopefully you enjoyed this. And we will touch bases on this little robot kit again in another video. If you're interested in Arduino and microcontrollers, you'll love how to get started with Arduino in one day or less. Get instant access now by clicking the link below in the description.